Right, it just struck me, now that I've uh, also got a maestro, it might be a good idea to go to the old abandoned car sales place that's not far from me. It's quite famous on the internet for being abandoned for like, I don't know, 20 years, I think, close to anyway. I think it was 2002 it shut down. Um, it literally is five minutes from my house um, in Castle Gresley. It used to be called um, Cappy Hill Car Sales or the Jetberg Garage, depending on how you know it. And for years it lay abandoned with six or seven old cars in there. Until recently there was a there was a Rover 820 or 827 that actually got sold and moved not long ago but over the years there's been larders there and Metro um, you know fair few things and all that's left now I went a walk up there a few weeks ago all that's left now is a H Reg Maestro 1600 automatic and a 1400 Cavalier so I'll go up there, do a bit of a video of what's left, and it might prove interesting for someone. So this is Church Gresley. Um, and, uh, I think this is called Castle Road to be honest, I can't remember now. I'm pretty sure this is Castle Road. And you'll see the car sales place get to the top of this hill on the left. It's really overgrown now. But as I say, I remember coming past it 15 years ago and it was shut then. And there was a lot more cars there at the time. I didn't live around here then. Uh, now I live really close. Obviously, I remembered and had a look at it the other day. up here on the left now I'm going to try and find somewhere to park the Maestro safely probably on the other side of the road to be honest I'll just spin it round and then there it is on the left now Castle Road. Uh, I'm just going to pull up on the side of the road here. There's the Maestro in shot. I'll pan across to the other Maestro there. Mine looks a bit shinier than that, right? So it's very overgrown, as you can see. I guess there would have been about 20 bays of cars years ago. I can remember when there was sort of seven or eight here. Um, quite a busy road. But you can see it's really overgrown now. I'll just have a walk over at the Cavalier. Definitely seen better days now. Now this one, um, I had a quick check on the internet this morning and uh, this was registered on the 13th of the 8th 1990. It's actually on a Sawn and had its last V5 issued on the 26th of the 9th 2012. So clearly, although it's sat here for years, there must have been some interest in changing dealer, owner or something. It also had an MOT on the 28th of the 11th 2006. And it said it did 125,591 miles at that time and failed dismally. Um, you can see it's absolutely been smashed to death by kids and stuff now. Uh, so yeah, there's the Cavalier. The one I'm obviously interested in being a Maestro owner is this Maestro down here. Um, and if you actually look at it body-wise, other than the front valance, because I suppose that's had some 
um, you know, weather on it. You wouldn't see a maestro at, at uh, 30 years old with arches like that, I don't think. So this one is a 1600 petrol automatic. Uh, registered on the 27th of December 1990. The last V5 was issued on the 22nd of the 6th, 94. And the last time the tax was due was the 1st of May, 1998. Got to be worth saving, surely. As I say, someone smashed the windows, the windscreen's been stood on, but body panels wise, looks good. All the door handles have been smashed off, I notice. All makes of new cars and commercials supplied. Uh, you used to be able to ring up and uh, inquire about the cars, even when it was shut. Phone number's 01283. Treble two, treble two. As I say, there was a rover here till recently. But it's all desperately overgrown now. Um, who knows what fate's going to become of the Maestro and the Cavalier. There's always been talk of building houses on here, but nothing's ever come of it. I will put a link in the video to an article I found on the internet. Um, I believe the original owner suffered ill health or there was a falling out in the family or something and the garage was just shut down and say with eight or nine cars just sat there as i say as we stand now it's june 2002 i think this maestro and the cavalier have been here for 18 years to my knowledge although like i say the cavalier must have moved for the mot that i mentioned earlier so there you go one last look at the maestro there you go then so that's what's left of cappy hill car sales the jetberg garage whatever you know it as just a sad looking maestro and a sad looking cavalier no idea how long they'll be here for now um hope you enjoyed it let me know catch you later